All right, so now we have a document here, and this is just happens to be my concept map document that we I just created that has the picture of my concept map, and then it has the outline that I imported from Inspiration so that others can see it, but yet I need to let other people be able to see this. So I'm going to show you how to publish a document onto the web with the Google Documents. So the first thing you do is, after you open up your document, you click up here to share, and then you you have a couple different options here, but what we want to do is publish as a web page. And it takes you to another blue screen, and it says, this document is not yet published, and you click publish. And then what I like to do, right now it took a snapshot of my document and it published it, which is fine. But what I like to do in case I make changes and I want other people to see those, I usually click automatically republish when the changes are made. So that the document updates, the web page updates the document is on, and everything is good. So you could also do this to post it to your blog or whatever, but we're not worried about that so much right now. Um, the document is publicly, view, is publicly viewable at this address, so I tend to take these addresses and do a copy the link, or I highlight them and copy them, and then I put them into whatever um, linking material I want to do, like with eFolio, I could do it that way, or I actually use this to host a lot of our the rubrics we use in class. So. Um, this is a nice way that you can have a document hosted uh, using Google Documents without um, actually having people download documents and wait for other programs to load and sometimes it takes forever, sometimes it causes problem with, problems with their computer. So anyway, this is a nice a simple way to publish documents onto the web without much hassle. Alright, so that's how to publish a document. I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions feel free to email me and I will talk to you later.